Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you, and uh, it's good to be with you today. Um, I've started a new channel. Um, basically, I've studied the historical Jesus uh, studies for about ten years, and um, the last year it's been quite intense. I did a lot of study because I had debates with atheists and um, I have a degree in theology I've studied at master's level um, and um, in theology uh, specializing in postmodern uh, studies and uh, various religions such as Islam and the reason why I want to do this channel is I have you can't see here but I have piles and piles of study notes that I just want to get out to the public to inform them about historical Jesus studies uh, to strengthen people's faith because this actually helps people who, to strengthen their faith and also to challenge skeptics uh, so I hope it's going to be a blessing uh, I hope that people find it a good resource and uh, I hope it shows um, a side to me that people uh, don't realize uh, a scholarly side to me that that I have uh, as well but above all I just hope that it brings glory to Christ and uh, brings him honor so we got thousands of notes to get on today so without further ado we will uh, get on making the video so come before the Lord Lord <coughs> we come before you today and we ask for your forgiveness and cleansing and Father, I pray that you will bless these videos, and I pray that they be a blessing to people, and I pray that they would bring you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray people will get saved, and people will, people will come to know you as Lord and Savior. Amen. Okay, we're looking at um, a, a series of videos now, which will be a long series, uh, and we're looking at a very important book and it's uh, in historical Jesus studies in modern times and it's Jesus and the Eyewitness uh, the Gospels as Eyewitness Testimony by Richard Borkham 2006 so we're going to go through his his book um, and um, I hope that you find um, the quotes and um, it's published by Erdman okay so it's Richard Borkham, 2006, published by Erdman, and it's Jesus and the Eyewitness Gospels, Eyewitness Testimony. <coughs> he writes, all history, meaning all that history is right, all historiography, is an extricable combination of fact and interpretation, the empirically observable, and the, <coughs> and the invented or constructed meaning. Page 3. So I just want to talk about history and interpretation of history. History, every historian is biased. There'll be people who will say, well, Christianity has the Gospels and the Gospels are biased, therefore we can't read the Gospels. And this is just a complete misnomer. The fact of the matter is, every one of us and historians were all biased when we look at history. To not acknowledge that fact is to be intellectually dishonest. Does that mean we can't, we can't know history? No, it, we can know history, we can know what history means, we can understand history. Josephus was biased, but we can know history objectively through him as we read. We just have to filter our objectivity and fil uh, our, our um, bias, and we have to filter his bias, but it can be done. But we have to be aware that we all come to the table with biased lenses. We don't acknowledge that we're not being intellectually honest. 